Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use PLC screen control in View Studio to create a splash screen, a momentary screen that comes up on your PanelView Plus when you first start it up, but then goes away and is replaced with the main menu. And the first thing you need to do is make sure that your screens in your project, your graphic displays, each have a unique display number. In my case, I have one graphic display that has a uh, screen display number of 99, and I have another one that has a display number of 1. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go into startup and make sure our splash screen, our startup screen, is selected as the default screen. So when we start up the project, that's the screen that starts up. So that's the first thing. Next, we got to go into global connections. And in there, we got to go to the display tab and we have to make sure that the remote display is set to our screen control tag in the PLC. But we also need to set the replace display value to a tag. And here, I'm just going to go ahead and set that to N71 in my emulated PLC, which we set up a couple of videos ago. And this way, we'll not only let the PLC control what screen the panel view or view ME displays, but we'll also tell the PLC what screen we're on. And that's very important. So with that done, we'll go ahead and click on OK. And now it's time to go over to RS Logics and write some PLC code. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm offline because the emulator doesn't support online edits. So let me go ahead and add a new rung here. And the first thing we want to do is put an equal instruction in here. And what we want to say is, is the screen currently at the logo screen or screen 99? So we'll put in equals and we'll say is N7 colon 1 equal to 99? Now if it is, then we want to start a timer. If that screen is up, we know that the panel view has just started up. So let's grab a timer, a TON, and we'll give it a timer address of T4 colon 0. We'll use a time base of, let's use 0 0.01. And then we'll use a preset of, let's say, 5 seconds or 500. Okay, we don't need an accumulate. So now, after 5 seconds, we need to do something. So let's go ahead and grab a branch. And we'll put that branch around the TON. And here, we'll go ahead and put an XIC. And what we're looking for is T4 colon 0 slash done, or the timer is done. 5 seconds have elapsed. And then what we're going to do with that is we're going to actually move a value of 1 into N70. Thus, send the panel view to the main menu. So with that done, that's not all we have to do. We have to do one more thing. If we leave a 1 in that location, in N70, in the remote display uh, screen tag value, then... Um, the operator won't be able to leave the main screen. So we got to go back in and put a zero in there. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a couple of equals. So let's go ahead and add another rung here. And now we're going to put in equal if N70 equals screen one, meaning we're commanding screen one, and N71 equals one, meaning the panel view is at screen one, then let's go ahead and move a zero into N70. In other words, let's command screen zero, thus releasing the panel view plus to the operator so he can change screens and you know go wherever he needs to go. So with that said, now that that's done, let's go ahead and uh, verify this project and we'll go ahead and download it to our emulator and go online. Okay, we'll put it in run mode. Yes, we want to do that. Now, let's go run our project to see if this is going to work. So I'll go ahead and run it, and we'll keep uh, RS Logics open here so we can see the timer timeout and see if everything works as planned. Okay, we can see our project starting up with the default screen, the logo screen. We can see our timer counting, and it's done. And look, we've called the main menu, screen one, and if we've followed up and put a zero in there, we would be able to change screens at this point. So it looks like everything's working. Now, if you found that helpful and you would like to get a copy of this video or a copy of the project, then check them out up at theautomationexchange.com. You can get either one for a $1 donation. Or if you would prefer to learn everything you need to know about programming the PanelView Plus, then head over to theautomationschool.com 
and check out my training course, PVP Basics, which will te teach you everything you need to know the program of Panel View Plus using View Studio. And with that, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.